Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently working on coming of age. We're six years old and that is of course a little bit of a problem. We definitely need to get about 10 years older for sure. Now we have managed to hold the realm together through a couple of rebellions which isn't shocking but we're having a pretty big malice for being above our domain limit. We're deliberately not granting those out. No, get out of here. We are out of debt at this point, and we don't currently... Okay, there it is. I was going to say, we don't currently have a dangerous faction. What is this? I don't think any of these are real. This one might become real. Yeah, for right now, there's no actual dangerous faction. Okay. That might change. That very well might change. We don't have a lot of gold right now. We could certainly think about some sort of a realm expansion. Italy appears to have broken up. That's intriguing. The HRE is having problems right now. We've got some de jure lands up over here that we could yoink out of there. And to be honest, we probably want to do this. Get these de jure lands dealt with. That's very interesting for sure. I'm wondering about empire titles over here. This is all considered the HRE. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> France doesn't exist anymore. Noted that France is now just the HRE. Cool. Well, that's exciting. I'm wondering about Italia. How much of Italia do we have? A fair amount. Now, we could also go after this lady. We control her territory de jure. So, this should absolutely be fine. Let's get this done as a relatively small war here. And let's use this to evaluate a couple of factors. Economic and political before we get into a larger war. So we'll summon the physician here. A soft approach is of course best. She got a holy order. This should be fine though. I'm not expecting a major issue here. We're just waiting on our men at arms. There's a scheme at court and no one is shocked. Okay, our quantity of men at arms is quite low right now. This is because we were in debt for a while. And these didn't regenerate. Okay. By the time we make our way up over here, it'll be 23rd of August. But we may want to just wait here a moment. Or maybe move up into here. Our courtier, this 51-year-old is now our rival. Okay. Awkward. So they're moving into us here. And this is estimating that we're going to win. I think that's probably true. We have a significant quality advantage over them. Yeah, that looks good. We just discovered cranes. Now, that is a pretty big deal economically. No one is currently in charge of this, so I'm not sure what is going to be fascinated next. It'll just be a random thing. We can't control this, so let's find out what gets fascinated next. We're exposed to Noblesse Oblige, but that's going to take a little bit to get figured out. Land grants will happen in nine years, urbanization in ten, so that's not very concerning. Let's just wrap up this siege. We know we're doing just fine economically right now. Okay, war is over. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. So this is a kingdom-level title here. 88% chance of conversion. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grant vassals to rightful liege here. This is going to be the duchies of Sardinia and Corsica. Now, that's going to hopefully boost her opinion of us. It did not. She's still very angry at us. I'm going to demand her conversion. We have an 88% chance of acceptance. And she did. Excellent. So she converted to the correct religion. However, she's still incredibly angry. Most of this is over domain limit, to be clear. And this guy, yeah, these guys are going to have very similar sorts of issues. <laughs> Absolutely. We know that we're going to have a lot of problems. Most of our vassals are currently imprisoned, so that is nice. I'm wondering if we can negotiate with anyone here, because this will eventually escalate to being a problem. We could fight them. We certainly could fight them. We can't simply negotiate. Okay, can we do anything over here? We actually have our half-sister and our mother slash regent here. Let's do that. Okay, 
So that gives, a, gives us an alliance there. And now that drops down that faction power. That seems good. We're going to decline this, of course. Beautiful. Okay, this is acceptable. And this is not acceptable. We're going to need a fair amount of cash because there's a lot of upgrades that can be done at this point. So over in Laraba, upgrading our hill farms would be fine. There's actually not that many upgrades that we can do here because of gold. Those are going to be very expensive. Okay, over in Warodugu, I want to get this caravanserai going here. Hang on, this is a desert agriculture. It's on the level of caravanserai. We probably want to replace something here with a caravanserai. Out of curiosity. So this is 0.7 per month. When we're at the max, it's at 3.8 per month. When this is at the max, it's 1.3 per month. So yes, I want to replace this with a caravanserai. We'll get going on that. Over in Felona, we probably have a similar story going on with the cattle pastures here. We want to replace this with a caravanserai. And in Banifeng, probably the hunting towers we would want to replace with a caravanserai. Yes. So we'll get going on that. We have 470 gold left, and that'll have to do for now. So what is our current situation with our Hogan? It's not great. Okay, this lady is very angry. <laughs> incredibly angry it's mostly boiling down to absolute crown authority plus over domain limit but it's a lot it's a whole lot her opinion of us will slowly improve over time i'm wondering actually yes we do currently have a corruption here uncooperative guilds and we'll get rid of that for sure so we'll work on increasing our control over here our regent is now more powerful that's understood we're at 10 out of 6, and I want to definitely get this gold here. What is this war? Holy war for the kingdom of Sicily. Okay. Interesting. How many forces do they actually have? Not many. Okay. I'm going to raise up our men at arms here. Ticking war score has been on our side for 60%. So there's that. We're going to have to embark if we want to end this war quickly. How much gold will that get us? Quite a lot. Yeah. This will be worth it. 79 gold to embark. We're going to head in over here. Not raising anything other than our men-at-arms. We don't need any levy troops here. So that sounds good. Yes, we're going to be more vigilant for five years. We are currently seven years of age. And we're going to head right on in here. Excellent. So we're going to end this war quite quickly. We're just going to push up towards their capital here. We're going to have to siege here next. Okay. A soft approach is indeed best. Cool. So we're at 89% war score at this point. This siege could end the war. And indeed it does. We're going to enforce our demands. And we just gained a bunch of gold. So that is beautiful. We're going to disband those troops. And we also just gained some prestige. And we gained some legitimacy, I believe, too. So that is all absolutely great. This guy is a vassal, but he's a mayor. So we'll accept that. That sounds good. Now, I do want to pop down to our capital here. Yeah, we should upgrade our horizontal windmills here. In La Raba, I want to do the same thing. That's all of that gold immediately gone. No shockers there. So. Our regent kind of sucks. Yeah, average aptitude. She is selfless, so there's that. Yeah. Okay, that's fine for now. I want to go after the HRE and grab these de jure claims, unless these claims are good. Hmm. That's a decent claim. So is this. This guy's 62. This guy's 52. This truce, this guy might still be alive. I want to go after Toulouse here. So this will be okay. Let's get that going. We're going to raise up some forces here. He's got 35,000 troops. So we should probably raise forces 
here, and we're going to need to raise some amount of levy troops. We don't need to maximize our troop raise, of course. Oh, hey, our domain limit went up by one. That is actually a pretty big deal. I like it. So I'm going to raise up around 25,000 troops here. No, I'm going to go 35,000. It is more convenient to do it this way. Okay, stop gathering, and we're going to head in over here. I have no idea where their forces are. He's in multiple wars right now. We might not ever even see his forces. So that's fine. We've got about 40 days left on that siege. County control has finished. That's perfect. And we're going to head on up over it this way. Mercs are expiring. That's fine. We will allow that to happen. Cool. So we're at 3% war score right now. Our court grandeur went up to level 10, which is also very good for us. We're very happy that that's happening. I would love to see our domain limit go up to 10, but for the time being, it's going to be kind of low. We are currently seven, so <laughs> yeah, we require some more work here, that's for sure. So I'm wondering about these, uh, okay, that's some interesting county lines, no doubt about it. We're going to come here, then come out over this way, that'll be fine. So we're going to get a fair amount of territory here, that's great. We definitely want to continue to carve into the HRE. If we can get to the point where we can usurp the HRE from the HRE, that would be amazing. We're going to head down here. I don't know if we'll get there. Truces are going to delay us quite a lot. Empire level titles are difficult to assail. No doubt about that. We're still making money, and that is great. Even without our Hogan endorsing us. Or is he partially? He's partially endorsing us. Okay. That's fine. Oh, we don't have a leader here. We should put this guy in. 34% war score at this point. Okay, this is a hostile army, not an enemy army. That's fine. Continuing to work our way through these sieges. What is this army doing? Okay, they're leaving. Good. I was going to go fight them if they were going to siege our territory, but no. Regent has furthered mandate. That's fine. We can at this point secure the Mediterranean. Okay, we could definitely do this. That's basically until the end of the game at this point. Not quite, but very close. Mari Nostrum indeed. Do it. Nobody can oppose us. We apparently are the ruler of the Mediterranean, even though we don't control significant portions of the Mediterranean. Sure, that seems fine. So what do we have going on here? This is a Liberty faction. Very rude. So these guys are mostly upset about being over domain limit. That's the primary problem right now. And that will get solved over time. So that's okay. Yes, we'll pay the Royal Court a visit. A flesh wound? Your liege is paying for my carpet. Absolutely. Cool. So we now have ticking war score on our side and we're going to start heading directly for their capital. That's the idea here. Hmm. 75 prestige is more valuable to us, I think, than 150 gold right now. So we're going to take that. We're very close to their capital here. And we're just going to pop right up over here. We are taking pretty heavy attrition at this moment, but that's fine. I'm just going to go take their capital and that will very likely end the war when we combine the capital bonus, the siege amount, and the ticking war score that we'll get in that time. It should do the trick. So this should end the war and give us all of this territory, which is phenomenal. 20 days left on that. And these guys are just kind of running around over here. That's fine. I would normally look to go farm the prestige down here, but I feel like we should exit the war instead. Okay, so we are now in this Gascon de Jure war, and that's fine. We are delighted to go fight this. Legitimacy has been gained, and this dangerous faction is potentially a problem. We'll look to deal with that faction after we get this all dealt with. This is saying that the chances are even. Our army is starving right now, which is not ideal. I'm looking for stewardship traits here. 
Stubborn is actually a good one there, although it will reduce some opinion of us. Wrathful is probably not ideal. We'll become stubborn for the stewardship bonus. That'll be fine. So our army is definitely starving. Let's see how this battle goes. I expect to win the battle even with the starving army. That said, they do have a fair amount of forces that they're raising up over here. Possibly mercs. Yeah, looks like mercs. Yeah, they're running away from us. This was expected. What a waste of gold indeed. So we're going to win this defensive war. No problem. Can we catch this force here? No. But what we can do is we can split off a siege force, go hit their capital, and chase them down simultaneously. So let's keep about 10k here and put this guy in charge. I want to go start sieging here while these guys come chase down over here. Do we want to be compassionate or sadistic? Hmm. Or neither. I'm kind of leaning towards neither here. That'll be fine. Okay. So we're going to fight them again here. Nice. That may stack wipe. Eh, did. That's good. And we'll look to fight over here. They are right up over this way. Okay. We absolutely want to fight this. We should win that quite easily. Are we even going to stack wipe it? It said that it was mixed. But yeah, we're, we'll easily win that. So that sounds good. We're going to take attrition heading up through here. That is understood. I'm wondering... Mm, no, I want to just go hit their capital. Okay, so we are sieging their capital, and they retreated up over this way. We're going to continue to chase them. They are down over here. I don't care about that. Let's wrap up this war as soon as we can. Yes, we'll get some piety here. That sounds good. And we're looking to cut these guys off. Perfect. We should easily win this battle as well, even though it's telling us the chances are even. They are not. War is over at this point, and we are going to end this war, getting ourselves 8,000 gold. Fantastic. That is very, very good. So we want to go spend that gold. Absolutely, we want to do that. We do have a dangerous faction here, and that is this Liberty faction. They can send their ultimatum anytime. That's okay. We are going to spend our gold down over here. So here in Boron, I want to upgrade our horizontal windmills. Here in Buwaki, I want to upgrade our horizontal windmills. I want to upgrade our bailiff's office in Warodugu. Up here, we're still working on construction. There is plague on the way in. That is understood. Let's see. We can definitely start upgrading our stables here. We're seeing some of these cities and temples upgrade. I would like to continue to work on upgrading these to level 4 where possible, and where not possible, I'd like to construct buildings. So that will spend all of that gold. Who's going to be the war leader here when they send their demand? That's going to be this guy. Understood. I'm going to drop our rally point here. We're going to raise our men at arms there, and we'll raise a few men, or a few levy troops as well. So I'm going to raise somewhere around 10k here, I think. Probably no more than that. This ransom is acceptable. Yep. Looks good. No on this one. Yes. And this is fine. Cool. So we're just waiting on our men at arms to raise up here and waiting on these guys to actually send their demand. They can send their ultimatum at any time. And we'll see what ends up happening there. We've only got 1897 troops here, but that's fine. Here's our demand. We will not be threatened. So war is declared. Hang on. Is this guy not the war leader? Okay, now this guy's the war leader. Well, that's awkward. This guy left the faction, I think, just before it fired. Okay. We could definitely go attack down in Barcelona. So, with a Liberty Faction, the war goal is to take the capital. He is right next to the capital. We can raise up forces, though, and it should be reasonably fine. I'm going to siege our way down to here, and then we're probably going to embark and go defend the capital. So, actually, we should come siege here. 
So that's going to be mildly problematic for us because the war leader is now right next to our capital. But we're just going to siege our way down to the sea and get ourselves some amount of war score going this way. But we need to get down to our capital and defend it. 100% that needs to happen. So we need to get this siege done. How long will it take us to get here by sea? 13 months. But what if instead we were to come here? That would also be 13 months. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave behind our siege force here. We're going to leave behind about this. And they are going to siege in Barcelona. These guys are going to start heading over to Kong North. Like so. It's going to be a long trip. That's understood. This way we can continue to get some war score out this way. And we're still on our way. We can raise up some troops in our capital. Okay, we are apparently heterosexual. That is absolutely fine. So, what do we got going on over here? Yeah, we inherited this. We definitely don't want to hold that. We're going to grant that out. Okay, so Barcelona has fallen at this point, putting us at 27% war score. We're just going to continue to siege up here for the siege war score. These guys are sieging down here. Noted. Okay, so these guys are sieging in our capital here. Okay. This is going to be awkward because they changed leadership on us. We could restore accolades. I'm going to wait till after the war to do that. We need a new marshal. It'll be this guy. Okay, let's head up over this way. We're at 31% war score at this time. We have disembarked here and we're headed down. How long is it going to take them here? 11 months and 5 months maximum? Okay, noted. We're definitely making progress on getting down there. Okay. Continuing to siege out over this way. We're at 21% war score, but 54. So it's now mathematically impossible for them to win without taking Kong North. They can definitely win if they take Kong North. So I'm going to raise up some forces in Kong North. And these are going to be pretty weak forces. Because our men-at-arms aren't here. We're going to have to have a pretty significant numerical advantage. So I'm going to raise up around 50k here. So that's 37, 38, 39, and 40k. I want about 50k here. Cool. Now I'm going to go take back Kong. And checking in up over here, these guys need to be sieging. Looks good. We're at zero war score right now. That's understood. And we're going to slow siege back Kong. I'm going to split this force in half. And we're going to go slow siege back Dabakala as well. So that's going to take a while. But we're just waiting on our men at arms to arrive down here. So that we can fight these forces. That's the idea. I want to continue to siege up over here in Barcelona. And we do have ticking war score on our side right now as well. As long as we hold this capital, we've got ticking war score. So that looks good for the moment. We are not betrothed. Yes, I'm aware of that. Okay. We're going to hop up over this way. And continue to siege. So we're currently at 77 from occupation. That's fine. We're going to continue to work on this. We're 89 from occupation. Are there no sick houses? That event again. Okay, cool. I like how it doesn't pop up very much anymore. That's nice. We're going to move these guys down over here. And, yep, we are done taking back Kong at this point. That's perfect. This siege is finishing. And there we go. We're going to head up and finish off Barcelona here. Then we're going to come take back these areas, probably. That'll be reasonably fine. So our men-at-arms are nearly here. This siege is still going. We've got seven months left there. I want to put in a siege leader here if we've got one. There we go. That should hopefully make things go a little faster. We just inherited this. We definitely don't want that. So we're going to grant that right on out. And Barcelona is now fully under our control. Perfect. So we're at 101 from sieges at this moment. And I want to group these together. I want to move these guys in. And then I want to, as soon as they arrive, 
I want to head down here like this and come fight these. Okay. A crusade for France. Awkward timing. We need to wrap up this war. But that's okay. We can certainly do that in the 12 months that we'll have, I think. So we're taking back these territories. We're currently at 50% war score. We could theoretically win this by simply stack wiping their army. Theoretically. I don't necessarily think we're going to win it from doing that. Okay. We just want a siege up over here. Actually, that was this siege that we just won. Sounds great. I'm going to go start up a slow siege out over here. We're going to wrap, or rather wipe these guys, hopefully. We definitely caught a decent chunk of them there. That was 83% war score at this point. Beautiful. We're going to hop up over here. We're now at 84. This siege is complete. We need to head out over this way and grab another siege there. Okay. So we started a slow siege here. This is going to slow siege. I'm going to station besiegers here. We are only at 16% from battles. Okay. I'm going to station besiegers. That was split in half. I wanted to station besiegers. I want to chase this army if we can. Nah, okay. We're not going to catch them. So we're 86% war score right now. We're hopping in over here. We're 87. We just need to wrap up these sieges very quickly. This crusade is going to launch in nine months. We have another faction brewing in theory, but I don't think that's actually true. Diligent is probably what we want to take here. Yes, we definitely want to take Diligent. That puts us up to 10 of 8 domain limit. That's great. So two months on this siege... How are we doing on these sieges? Uh, we're definitely progressing nicely. War is currently over. We'll enforce those demands. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, let's wrap up that war, disband our troops, and now we're going to have to deal with this crusade for France. And this faction. But that'll be a next episode sort of thing. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, Kintogen, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.